Hi, Travis with Splunk here. In my home lab, I've upgraded my Splunk Enterprise to the latest version, 9.1, at the time of this recording. Now, 9.1 introduced some new features and updated some existing support to exist, you know, to existing features. One I want to talk about is the dark theming, or I'll call it dark mode, where you can see I have it enabled. And how do you enable that? You go up to your username. I'm logged in as administrator. Click on preferences, find the theme. And then there you get, uh, when you click on the drop down menu, you get three options. I've got dark already selected and click apply. With this you know, updated support, if I go into the search and reporting app, it is now in that dark theme, which I do like the theme mode, dark mode, a lot better. It's easier on my eyes. And when I was kind of flipping around through some of my other apps, I noticed that they were not incorporating that setting. Now, before I go in any further, if you want to learn more about, you know, the new releases and what's new in those, go out to docs.splunk.com slash documentation. If you're a on-prem you know, user like myself, you go into Splunk Enterprise. Or if you're a cloud customer, you can go up to the cloud platform. But I'm going to go into the Splunk Enterprise here underneath platform and click on release notes. From release notes, I'm going to get you know how to upgrade, you know what's new, and that's where if you start scrolling down, you'll see that theme supporting for a search and reporting app. Also in 9.1, there was some quality of life uh, updates to Dashboard Studio Builder that I'm excited about. I'm going to record another video and talk about that in another video. So here again, you know, dark mode. If I go to one of my apps that I've built for myself, it's still in that light mode. And that's because I have not enabled this app to support that theming. And that's where I'm going to go in and show you how to update your custom apps, the apps that you've built, to support the different themes. And when I was trying to figure this out and why the app wasn't supporting the theme, I found on our dev.splunk.com website, which if you haven't seen Splunk Dev, this is a great site with a lot of uh, articles to do some of those advanced and cool things inside of Splunk. Here I do have an article that helps me update my app to support the different themes. However, this uh, this article may be a little out of date because it's talking about, you know, Splunk Cloud Platform version 9 and up and says and it says that Splunk Enterprise cannot select a UI theme. I've actually got this enabled on another app that I've built and it works. So here is the file that we're going to edit inside of your app. Uh, the article says you use the go underneath the default folder. That's okay if you own the app and you are controlling it. But if you're getting this from someone else, you may not want to edit the app.comp file under default. You may want to go to local. And that's what I did with my other app. And then it just goes into, you know, other, you know, if you want to update custom JavaScript and whatnot. But I'm just going to go in and edit the app.com file, show you that, and then restart Splunk to take the effect. And if you need to, you know, if you want to read more about app.com file, easiest way, go out to your favorite search engine, look up Splunk documentation app.com it'll take you to this article to where you can look at all the different settings for this configuration file so now let's switch over to my terminal here that I've already logged into my Splunk indexer you can see all the different apps that I have installed and I'm gonna jump into the search app and then I'm gonna jump into the default folder I'm going to do a more on app.conf. I am running this on a Linux instance right now. I mean, if you are a Windows user, you know, you can just go and 
bring up file explorer and find the same files that way but i am in you know running my splunk enterprise and a linux environment now when i do this more on app.comp you can see that in the search and reporting app there is the supported themes and i'm going to copy that actually so all i'm going to do is highlight right click and, and then control c so it, you know, it won't do anything with that all right now i'm going to back up and i'm going to say open sense you know i could go into the default folder like the article in dev.splunk.com says but instead i'm going to go into my local folder because i never like to edit anything in default i'm going to say that again just because if you don't control it you download an update it can overwrite the the customizations that you've created so in here I'm gonna do an LS and you can see I do have that app.comp file there I'm gonna use VI can't type today you're all watching me once VI is open now we can insert the settings that I want to put in here for supporting that dark theme and light theme and here I'm gonna click I you didn't have that selected there we go I and then I'm going to actually right click, which paste is paste what I copied from earlier. I'm going to click escape, shift colon, write and quit. We're going to check my work, more app.comp. And you can see that I do have that supported theme copied over with light and dark enabled. Let's go back to my Splunk Enterprise and if I click on um, OpenSense again and refresh this, it's still in light mode. It's because we need to restart Splunk Enterprise, or you could do a, a debug refresh. And if you've never seen that before, let me show you that right here. I'll go here, and I've already done it a few times. Uh, debug refresh, click the refresh button. This is going to refresh a lot of the, the configuration files in the back end. I'm not going to let you know, not going to make you watch this whole thing. I'll be back when it's done and finish the recording. Okay, I'm back. The refresh has finished. And let's go and remove everything but my IP and 8000. Let's go into that OpenSense app and we should see that the changes have taken effect. Now my OpenSense app is in dark mode and I can even go to stuff like dashboards and see everything is in dark mode now. So with that, I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and happy spelunking.